Hi there, welcome to Eza's channel. When you find that there are always many unknown files in your MacBook folder and the system is not running as fast as before, you can check the system storage. Thus, you may have probably noticed the portion of the colored bar labeled System Data. It may range from 10 GB to over 100 GB. What is it though and why is Mac system data so big and how can you clear it? Continue watching to learn more. Mac system data consists of numerous file categories that cannot be determined as pictures, videos, or texts. Normally, the system takes up about 10 GB on Mac, but occasionally you may find the system storage around 80 GB or more. You can view the system storage through System Settings. Choose the Apple menu, click on System Settings, General Storage, and you'll see a colored bar with each color representing a category. Hover over a color and you can see the category and the amount of space it uses. Hover your cursor over each category, you can know its type and size. Usually, the dark gray space represents system data. Why need to delete Mac system data? Clearing system storage can vacate more space on the Mac. The Mac system data consists of several files as follows. Old backups, Mac OS system, temporary files, app extensions, disk images and archives including DMG, ZIP, etc. Cache files like system cache, browser cache, and user cache. It is safe to erase system data to decrease the impact on your Mac's storage of some of the files indicated above because they are superfluous. 1. Clear Cache on Mac Cache files are mainly created while using apps on Mac. Even though they can reduce the time it takes for websites and applications to load when reopen them, you can go to Library folder to see how much it takes. First, click Go on the top bar, choose Library, then you can see the Cache folder in it. Press Command J and choose Calculate All Sizes to show the size of each folder. For example, my cache folder shows that it takes 510 MBAR of the system storage. Then open it and delete the necessary files. For example, range the files by size first. You can see the biggest one is Google. Open it and find the cache file or folder. Then move it to the trash or press Command and Delete to clear it. Then return to the storage lab and you will see the system data is reducing. 2. Delete log files on Mac Log files, as a part of the system data, can be deleted by the following steps. Press the command and backspace keys. Type tilde slash library slash log slash and choose open. Select the log files you want to delete. Move them to trash or command and delete is both OK. Three. Clear Time Machine Snapshots Your MacBook keeps a functional replica of the Mac Time Machine backup if the external drive is not available, so here are the steps below to clear the system data manually. Click Go, Utilities and Open Terminal. When a terminal window opens, type TMUtil list local snapshot dates and press Return. You will quickly find a wide array of backups completed by dates. In order to delete a backup, it's recommended to type tmutildelete-local-snapshots-sumdate into the Mac terminal. Here, sumdate implies the backup data you're willing to eliminate. However, be careful not to delete essential data to avoid causing system failure. If you accidentally deleted some vital system data and some Mac programs keep errors, in that case, the third-party recovery software ESA's Data Recovery Wizard for Mac is recommended to recover your system data.